The crawler transporters, formerly known as the Missile Crawler Transporter Facilities, are a pair of tracked vehicles used to transport spacecraft from NASA's Vehicle Assembly Building along the crawlerway to launch Complex 39. They were originally used to transport the Saturn IB and Saturn V rockets during the Apollo, Skylab and Apollo Soyuz programs. They were then used to transport space shuttles from 1981 to 2011. The crawler transporters carry vehicles on the mobile launcher platform, and after each launch return to the pad to take the platform back to the VAB. The two crawler transporters were designed and built by Marion Power Shovel Company using components designed and built by Rockwell International at a cost of $14 million each. Upon its construction, the crawler transporter became the largest self-powered land vehicle in the world. While other vehicles such as bucket wheel excavators like Bagger 293, dragline excavators like Big Muskie and power shovels like the Captain are significantly larger, they are powered by external sources. The two crawler transporters were added to the National Register of Historic Places on January 21, 2000. Topic. Specifications The crawler transporter has a mass of 2,721 tons 6 million pounds and has eight tracks, two on each corner. Each track has 57 shoes, and each shoe weighs 900 kg the vehicle measures 40 by 35 meters (131 by 114 feet). The height from ground level to the platform is adjustable from 6.1 to 7.9 meters (20 to 26 feet), and each side can be raised and lowered independently of the other. The crawler uses a laser guidance system and a leveling system to keep the mobile launcher platform level within 10 minutes of arc 0.16 degrees, about 30 cm at the top of the Saturn V, while moving up the 5% grade to the launch site. A separate laser docking system provides pinpoint accuracy when the crawler transporter and mobile launch platform are positioned in the VAB or at the launch pad. A team of nearly 30 engineers, technicians and drivers operates the vehicle. The crawlers were overhauled in 2003 with upgrades to the motor control center, which houses the switchgear and electrical controls of all of major systems on board, a new engine and pump ventilation system and new diesel engine radiators, and replacement of the two driver cabs on each vehicle, one on each end. As of 2003, each crawler had 16 traction motors, powered by four 1,000 kW horsepower generators, in turn driven by two 2,050 kW 2, horsepower V16 Alco 251 C diesel engines. Two 750 kilowatts, 1,006 horsepower generators, driven by two 794 kilowatts, 1,065 horsepower engines, were used for jacking, steering, lighting, and ventilating. Two 150 kilowatts, 201 horsepower generators were also available to power the mobile launcher platform. The crawler's tanks held 19,000 liters 5,000 U.S. gal of diesel fuel, and it burned 296 liters per kilometer 125.7 U.S. gallon per mile. Due to its age and the need to support the heavier space launch system and its launch tower, in mid-2012 one of the crawlers was undergoing an upgrade involving new engines, new exhausts, new brakes, new hydraulics, new computers to increase its lifting capacity from 5,400,000 to 8,200,000 kg 12 million to 18 million pounds, the crawler is controlled from two control cabs located at either end of the vehicle, and travels along the 5.6 km miles crawlerway at a maximum speed of 1.6 km per hour, 1 mile per hour loaded, or 3.2 km per hour, 2 miles per hour unloaded. The average trip time from the VAB along the crawlerway to launch Complex 39 is about 5 hours. Each crawlerway is 2 meters 7 feet deep and covered with Alabama and Tennessee River rock for its low friction properties to reduce the possibility of sparks. 
In 2000, NASA unearthed and restored an Apollo era segment of the crawlerway to provide access to High Bay 2 in the VAB in order to provide protection from a hurricane for up to three shuttles at the same time. Kennedy Space Center has been using the same two crawlers, now nicknamed Hans and Franz, since their initial delivery in 1965. In their lifetime, they have traveled more than 5,500 kilometers 3, miles, about the same driving distance as from Miami to Seattle. <laughs> Appearances in popular culture The crawler transporters have featured in television and movies. In a Season 3 episode of Dirty Jobs, host Mike Rowe helps workers maintain a crawler transporter and takes the vehicle for a short drive. The crawler was also seen in the 1995 film Apollo 13, the 2011 film Transformers – Dark of the Moon and the 2019 film Apollo 11. Similar vehicles appeared in the 2013 film Pacific Rim, used for transporting and launching Jaegers. In the Fallout 3 video game add-on pack, Broken Steel, the U.S. government survivors, the Enclave, have a mobile base built on and into a heavily modified crawler. In Sid Meier's Alpha Centauri, various units are called crawlers and feature chassis based on the crawler transporters. <laughs> Gallery